Hey, Charles. Yeah. Hey, David. How's it going? Hey, it's going. How you doing? Good, good. We had a chance to talk with you um, just in the spring uh, yeah. about SWAT, and you had said, you know, every season is better than the last. A lot has happened since then. You know, the plot has really developed, um, both for both for you, for your character, and for the show. Um, I was wondering, can you catch us up to date a little bit since then? What's been going on? I don't know where you guys are. If you if you started season five up there, yeah, I'm up to um, three episodes into uh, season five. Got it. So you, so you guys, that's right. I think Canada, you guys are uh, kind of on the same uh, schedule as we are here in the states. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, so you know, the, the, we started off in Mexico with that 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 awesome uh, episode. A lot of action. Um, Hondo's trying to figure out what he's going to do. Uh, uh, Tan finds himself on a different team to, to start the season. He works his way back to uh, 20 squad, but uh, 20 squad just isn't the same without Hondo in, in charge. And so that's kind of where we're at. It, it, we're kind of trying to figure out this, uh, this new chemistry that we have. Uh, it, it, it's not quite working. Um, uh, so, so there's some challenges there. Um, and I think uh, as we move on to season five, uh, in terms of my character, uh, uh, Tan will continue to face some challenges at work. And he'll also face some challenges uh, at home. We ended season four uh, on a high note. Tan had uh, just married Bonnie. They went off, had a great honeymoon. Um, but now, you know, he's, he's, th- there's an old flame that, that is going to come back in, in season, later on in season five. And that's going to kind of shake things up with uh, Tan on the on the home front and uh, with SWAT. So how does that feel for you to play in terms of having sort of a bit of a new alignment? You know, how much does it matter to you that, you know, you, you are a team, you're a team on and off screen. So when you, you know, shake up the pieces a little bit, how does that feel to, to play it? Does it feel the same? Yeah, when, when, when you shake up the pieces, you definitely... Uh, when we're doing these episodes, it, it isn't the same. You know, you have a new guy who comes in and now he's given the orders. And now Hondo is just, you know, kind of a regular SWAT officer. He's no longer in charge. Uh, so so it's a little uh, different. Now, off screen, it's great because we had a, a, a wonderful actor, uh, David DeSantos, uh, come in who we met last episode, who plays uh, Sanchez, the new 2020 David. And uh, that's great because he came in, he was so prepared. Uh, he was so, uh, uh, felt so honored to be there with us. And he's such a lovely guy. And we all, you know, it's great to have new people come on uh, who are really talented and, and very skilled because it just only, you know, it motivates you to, to stay on your game. Uh, and so outside, you know, the cameras are on. We're all having a great time. We're getting to know uh, David, who, who's now on for a few episodes. Um, but definitely, yeah, we, you know, when we're shooting the scenes, there's a little bit of a, a, a tension there. Mm-hmm. And, and we'll kind of see that over the next few episodes. Yeah. You switch to a new day. You're about to switch again. But, you know, your your serious fans have been following you. Some new fans coming in, too. What's been something you've enjoyed about the fan reaction to the show and, you know, your fan interaction personally? Yeah, I just I just love that the the number one reaction that I always get uh, when I, when somebody recognizes me from the show is that they love SWAT. That's always uh, the reaction, um, and, and it's kind of cool. Everybody has their different favorite characters. You know, people love Hondo, people love Street, people love cr- girls, love Chris. Uh, you know, occasionally somebody likes you know Tan here and there. <laughs> um, but I, I just love, uh, you know, I'm very proud to be a part of SWAT. I'm proud to uh, be able to bring uh, Victor Tan to the screen. I'm proud of that that character that we've uh, really developed over five seasons. Um, and it's just, it, it's a good feeling to be on a show that that you, you really, you know, I, I don't have to try to talk, you know, say nice things about uh, the show. I genuinely uh, I love the people I work with. I love, um, I love SWAT. Um, and, and, and I just love everything the show stands for. Uh, and I love that we get to really cast the show to a wide, to a wide audience. The fact that we're able to be in so many different, uh, countries and that people adore, 
uh, these characters in the show. It, it, it means a lot. One thing that remains, and I think is so important, is the um, action. You know, mm -hmm. the set pieces are still there. You're still doing the, the raids. You're still um, finding order, even with, you know, the call signs are a little bit different and the team a right. little bit different. Um, obviously, that's something that's important to you, that you need to know how to do this in real life as well, that you mm -hmm. need to bring that experience. Have you had sort of a favorite of the, the scenes with action? Have you had a sort of favorite moment of shooting those? Yeah, you know, this episode that just aired uh, this past Friday, uh, I, I loved the the um, the tact. I'm very good friends with our tech advisor uh, on the on the show who, who helps us look authentic and goes through all the tactical motions. Um, and this past episode, I thought was just it, it was so great in really featuring kind of the the tactics that SWAT does. We really stayed in the raid following the each character. Uh, it wasn't quick. It, it, sometimes I feel like our action can be a little quick and you almost, you know, miss it. Uh, this really sat with uh, 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 the action and followed the SWAT officers. You saw the the, the tactical stuff. And, you know, we work really hard uh, on that stuff because we want to be authentic. We want to uh, portray real SWAT officers, you know, and what they what they actually uh, what they actually do out in the field. Um, and of course I love, I love any time I get to do stunts. I've done some fun stunts, uh, over the, over the years. One of my favorites is always, I think it was season three, two or three. I got to like hang off the side of a minivan and it was driving and I'm flailing off and it crashes and I roll off. So the stunts out that we get to do, it's, it's so much fun. Um, and, and credit to our stunt coordinators because they do the, an outstanding job of bringing uh, the action. When SWAT started, that was the number one thing. It's going to be an action show, and I think to this to this day, our action really has is set apart from any other action on on network television. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to see. It was cool to see that your character got married last season. And part of what I find so interesting about the show is that. It feels like everything is as heightened as the action. The relationships are as mm -hmm. heightened. You know, when your team members are, you know, deciding if they want to actually get together or not, that right. feels heightened too. When I watch the show, it feels like, you know, it's like white knuckle the whole way through. So how does that feel to play? Do you feel that sort of heightened reality when you're shooting it? It's, it's nice when you really get into the characters uh, lives, uh, you know, because then when you're, when you're out, when they're out in the field and, and they're in life or death situations, you know, you really care about these people on the screen that you've come to uh, adore uh, over, over five seasons. Um, so it's, it's, I love getting into the personal lives of each character. Um, and, you know, we'll do more of that uh, this season for, for Tan. Um, so it's always fun when I see some scripts and we're learning a little more about Tan, even if it's just little bits and pieces. I'm like, OK, this is this is great. Let's learn a little, keep learning more about this guy and, and really uh, find out who he is behind uh, the, the SWAT uniform. And our, and our writers do a great job of going uh, into each and every one of the characters. That's one of the luxuries of having a lot of episodes uh, to, to do it, because we do have a, you know, a cast of about seven seven main characters um so it's a lot of people to 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 learn about um but you know we'll hit 100 episodes this year yeah uh which is a, a huge accomplishment and uh you know i think we're we're starting to really learn about you know the the people on this team yeah i really like how that's brought in i just want to ask you lastly what does it the off-screen relationships mean to you in terms of on screen yeah I mean, this, this is part of what I love about this business is that you meet people that you never would have met, you know, if, if you weren't, you know, if I wasn't an actor and you meet really wonderful and creative and like minded and talented uh, people. And uh, it, it's even better when you make lifelong friends uh, from from being on a show. You know, I feel like I've made uh, some some lifelong friends being on being on SWAT. Um, I love I love my castmates. Uh, I love that we get along outside of work. You know, we we you know hang out. We don't just hang out at work, but we hang out outside of work 
to. And uh, it, I think when SWAT ends, you know, that, that doesn't stop. You know, we'll continue to be friends and root for each other and support each other. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's what it's all about. It's relationships. It's the people you meet uh, along the way while getting to do something really cool. Mm. I've really enjoyed what's happened so far this season. I'm really excited for what's to come. It's been such a pleasure speaking with you again. Thank you so much. Cool. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate it.